an image in my background, which I've also decided to use right here. This is a painting uh, from France, Jean-Francois Millet. It's a Millet painting from all the way back in 1857, and it's called the Gle uh, Gleaners. We're gonna learn uh, a new word in class that I didn't give you in Google Classroom. So the vocabulary word is gleaning, G-L-E-A-N-I-N-G, -E gleaning. And this relates to the topic of uh, food waste. Who could tell me what's happening in this painting on the right side of the screen? I've also used it as my background. Anybody, you can raise your hand if you want to tell the story. What's Women happening? working. Women are working, yes. Is it their job? They are, they are slaves. Slaves, are they slaves? In that moment, maybe they are working uh, for um, so survivor. Survival. Nurexi, you're you're closer. They're not working for they're not doing a job. They're not slaves. They are uh, working for survival. What do you mean survival? Uh it's um when you to do a work for um keep alive for eat. Yeah, to stay alive. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mar Marie, boys around. Uh, yes. What do you want to say? Yeah, I think they are collect um, the food from the ground. Yes. They got her the food. You got it. Yes, Marie. Well done, Marie. That's what is called gleaning. It's collecting food um, from a farm. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this resource right here called Google Arts and Culture, which is one of my favorite resources to teach with because you know how I love to do virtual museums. Uh, this is, I'm taking everybody to France right now. So get ready. I hope you brought your passport. We're going to ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah. the museum. All right, so here's Google Arts and Culture and uh, now we are entering the Musée, Musée d'Orsay in Paris. Here we are. This is why I'm showing you this resource because we can zoom into the painting. Watch this. So let's look closer at this painting. So we see these women and both Nurexi and Marie said they are picking up off the ground. It's wheat. So, so, and this is what's called gleaning, G and uh, G L E A N I N G, gleaning. So that's where the word comes from. Oh, uh, that is a verb, right? Glee, rice. Oh, uh, well, it could be rice. Um, it's most likely, this is France in the 19, I'm sorry, in the 1850s. So it's more likely wheat. More likely, more likely wheat, like to make bread. Why would there be so much food on the ground? Maybe because the wheat was collect, the, collected with machines and the machines don't pick up all the wheat and the people that really are hungry uh, they pick up the wheat from the floor now i'm gonna zoom in right here we, we can really look close what i love about this resource is you, as you get close watch this you can see the cracks in the paintings in the painting look at that it's like you're standing in front of the painting is everybody, I don't know if you see it as crystal clear on the detail. You can see all these details. But Guadalupe mentioned um, 
maybe there's a machine picking up all the wheat and some is being left. If you look in right around here at the top of the painting, this is where all of the wheat is going, right there. So what's happening here? The, the rest of the harvest. Mm -hmm. Can I say? Uh, well, um, um, let, let Fernanda finish. What do you mean the rest of the harvest? Well, you're right. It is the rest. I, Mukta, did you want to add something? Yeah, uh, I know that what they do means mm -hmm. uh, they are collecting all the weeds and there are bundle of, uh, I have to say, in, in every uh, string, they have a grain of wheat and they are making a bundle and they are putting those bundle in, uh, aside and those bundle will go to the uh, where uh, they have an ox. It's like a churner. They will put that uh, bundle uh, on the ground and that uh, uh, ox will um, churn around them and then, then they will uh, get a grain of wheat mm. from that. Uh, so they are doing that. That's a great description. Mukta was giving us a description of the process of, yeah, uh, yes, where I have, bread comes I, from. I know that because uh, my, mother, my maternal uh, grandmom, she, lives, she, she, she lived in the village. So I know the process and I know what they are doing. So it's a harvesting time. They're collecting all the grains, strings. They're making a bundle mm -hmm. and they're putting on the that bullock cart. That bullock cart go, go to the, where they have ox or maybe, uh, not a machinery that time. They, I think, I don't know they have a machine that time or not, but yeah. So with the ox, by using ox legs on uh, actually feet and they will get a grain. Mm -hmm. We see in this painting, we have a lot of people are carrying away the grain. We yeah. see big, big mountains of the grain yeah. stacked here. Yeah. Look at uh, her in victory. Um, I imagine it, there is nothing to eat. Mm. Um, the Marie, harvest is. Yes. I, I can, can I say something? Yeah, Marie had her hand up a little while ago. Yes, Marie. Yes, I think um, you said that's a long time ago in the Middle Age. So uh, not the Middle Ages. This is uh, 1857, so 19th oh, century. Oh, 1857. Okay. So this is well, France, uh, 1857. Mm -hmm. So I think on that time, people um, doesn't have lot um, machines, so. Um, um, as we have today, but they had to pick everything. Uh, they had to make everything by their hand. And that's, that's why you see um, people grab the, the food from the farm and then they have to put them in, in a chariot and do the work by themselves. I think uh, Mukta, Mukta gave us a nice um description of how uh, and other one more thing i want to add the mm -hmm. uh, the women's are picking up so sometimes what happen when they pick the uh, string of that uh, grain sometimes that grains fell on the floor so yes. when they come so they again they can again grow so not to happen that that's why they are picking each grain from the uh, from the uh, farm now, the, uh, the practice of gleaning, oftentimes farmers would allow people to come to pick up grains or if it's vegetables or whatever is grown after the harvest. So the workers move the fruit, move the harvest, whatever is grown to be sold at the market. There's always going to be some leftover something and the farmer may allow people to pick up what is left over and the the act of picking up what is left over on the farm is called gleaning so that's where the word comes from now a uh, quick question does this happen do we do people still do this today 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely. A, yeah, it's similar. Absolutely. But that's I, why I don't yeah. know how it's called. It's actually called gleaning. It's really? exactly the same. It's the oh, same. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. It's exactly the same word today. And but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Yes, Mukta. I yes. want to tell you where, where people not have a machinery, so where people they can use this manual thing, man, they do it manually. It's yeah, it's still done exactly the same way. I'm going to show you an example of, um, actually, I'm going to make sure I optimize for sound and video before I do this. Hang on one second. Okay, resharing my screen, optimize for sound and video. Okay, there it is. This is gleaning uh, for a food pantry in South Carolina. It happens here in Massachusetts, but the video I'm showing you is from uh, South Carolina. So here we go. Several years ago, 4-H had a program called Hunger to Help, and we're trying to fight food insecurity across the state. And one of the projects that they wanted us to do was gleanings. One of the nice things in Harnett County is we grow a lot of sweet potatoes. And because the farmer is looking for a specific type of potato, he's leaving a lot of in the ground and so uh, we come right behind that farmer after he's got what he wants and we're picking up the potatoes that he's left on the ground so it's easy for us to get to plus they have a really nice shelf life for those food pantries the great thing about extension being involved with the gleaning is that we have so many different partnerships not only are we working with the farmers who's growing the sweet potatoes in the fields but we've got contacts with the local food pantries and also with the food bank of eastern and central carolina uh, who's coming out here to take these potatoes to 34 different counties. The people that receive food from the food pantry, I think appreciate knowing that the food that they receive is coming from the local farmers. And the local farmers show that they care about the citizens who use the food bank or food pantry um, when they allow us to come glean from their fields now, in this way. I so, know they were, they were talking very fast. Uh, you might notice their accents are different from the way people speak in Boston. Uh, they speak with Southern accents. So if you travel around the U.S., you'll notice there are different, very different regional uh, accents. But uh, gleaning is one of the ways that organizations like uh, the Greater Boston Food Bank will get so much food. Now, uh, why is there oftentimes so much food uh, left on a farm after the harvest? Why were, why why would a farmer not sell it? Because it's not the 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 size uh, that uh, they need for for sale. Yes, exactly, exactly. When we go to when we go shopping, what do, what do we what do we usually do when we shop? We choose the better size, the good ones. The, yeah, it, it's a lot like dating, actually. Where like you're at a club and you're dancing, you know, you look around, you see, oh, he's handsome. Oh, him? No, no, he's not. <laughs> no, him? No, he's not very handsome. He's the one. That's the one. We do the same thing when we go shopping. We pick up a tomato and we'll say, oh, this is ugly. Uh, oh, no, 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 not this one. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, oh. This oh that's the one you're coming home with me, so yes it's true. <laughs> you, you, you can you can choose what is the better for you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so the food production has always had waste. It's it's nothing new. It's been happening since since the agricultural revolution. Uh, you know, thousands of years ago, there's always waste. So um, in, in many ways. Uh, there's really no reason for anybody in the world to be hungry, but it's just a matter of getting that extra food to the people who need it. So let's go into uh, let's go into Trist 